now, and now, it's time for your, what, are you kidding me, stories of the day. I want you to know, everyone, I'm fine, I'm okay, I'm, I'm here to provide you with the news that did not make the news. That's a relief. If something happened to you, where would I get this news? Thank you yeah. so much. Thank you. Uh, and, and if it wasn't me doing it, it wouldn't be the same, right? Of course no. not. You but, are the anchor man. Well, let's get serious for a moment. As I take you out of Pennsylvania, ladies and gentlemen, it's an all bra, y'all at the Waffle House. (laughs) Five female relatives, I repeat, all relatives, were at a Waffle House in Pennsylvania last Saturday, 2.45 in the morning. They got into a serious brawl. All five of them were arrested for disorderly conduct. And by the way, someone was actually filming this go down. There is video of this, you guys. Uh, You can see the women throwing wild punches. They're pulling hair. They're throwing stuff at each other off the tables. The smothered and covered hash browns are going crazy in people's faces. (laughs) I encourage you to check out the video. I mean, it is straight up unbelievable. I just feel like it's a waste of really good food to just get all upset and stuff like that. Not to mention um, their family. Well, yeah, that too. I mean, I'm pretty mad too. Extra vicious. I'm pretty mad too when I go to Waffle House and there's no syrup, but I don't go. Yeah, you don't brawl. You don't go after your family, do you? Oh no. (laughs) All right, let's go to page two. What are you kidding me? I'm gonna take you out of Oklahoma City. Jealous boyfriend? You decide. A couple of months ago, a 21-year-old woman in Oklahoma City posted a photo on Facebook of herself in a bathing suit, and a 48-year-old man left a comment on the photo just saying, Dang, girl. (laughs) Five days later, the woman's boyfriend tracked him down and shot and killed him. Oh, my goodness. Holy my lanta. Holy my lanta's right. He's been arrested. Good. I mean, is I that thought you were protective over your wife, <laughs> but you didn't go do that. Yeah, man, that's straight up going pretty far, yeah. right? I mean, horrible, isn't it? That's a new, uh, wow. I mean, all I can say is wow, but no, is no. the girlfriend going to get arrested for entrapment? Well, I don't know, but all you know, she just posted on Facebook for the love of God. But it does make you want to say, what are you kidding me? These stories are breaking every single hour. F-I-T with a Z, players. Put your game face on. It's time for Playlist Profiling on The Fit Show. Fit Show. All right, it's part two of Playlist Profiling, and wherever you are at home, at work, in the car, listening on the app, we're all attempting to profile our mystery caller based off of three songs, and three songs only from their personal playlist. We're going to try to guess their sex. Their age, what they drive, we're going to try to guess their profession. Are they single or married? And how many kids? Me, I'm hard to love, hard to love. Oh, I don't make it easy. Well, I couldn't do it if I stood away. Okay. Have you seen those big tumbles blowing up? Come up from the top. All right, before we get to the big reveal, I think that this individual is a male. 41 years old, drives like a Ford F-250. Um, I think their profession, I think this individual is a, like a drywall installer. Married with three kids. That's what I'm thinking. Drew, give me your profile. I said female, 37, married, no kids, veterinarian or veterinary assistant, and drives a Nissan Pathfinder. Tanner the Millennial. I said 39, male, they're an accountant that drives a Jeep Wrangler, four kids, and divorced. All right, we're about to find out the big reveal of Playlist Profiling. Mystery caller, are you a male or a female? I am a female. Yes! Yes! Dang. I saw through it. it. I know. Dang it. I should have went with my gut, Drew. Uh Uh-huh. That's the importance of... of... I saw you wavering. You should always go with your gut. Yeah, I should have went with my gut. All right. Um, mystery caller, how old are you? I am 24. Wow, we were all so far off. What do you drive? I drive a Ford Fusion. Yeah, I said a Ford F-250 pickup truck. That's not a Fusion, you kid. (laughs) Is the Jeep Wrangler close? I don't know. (laughs) No, no, no. Why is your music so, uh, sophisticated? Yeah, you have very sophisticated music. (laughs) I listen a little bit to everything, from jazz to new and old country. All right, let me ask you this. Are you, uh, what, what's your profession? I am in sales. I said accountant. Okay, what kind, well, that's not, nothing close to sales, Tanner. <laughs> How's doing numbers? <laughs> what, what, what kind of sales? I'm in advertising sales for Zillow. Oh, oh very cool. Okay. cool. That's awesome. Are you single or married? Single. 
Oh my goodness, I'm doing terrible. Do you have any babies? Not unless fur babies count. You have a little fur babies? Yeah. Well, thank you so much for letting us profile you. I really appreciate it. Does it does it feel weird to be profiled? A little bit. You know, I've listened to the bit for so long that I'm I'm kind of loving it. <laughs> <laughs> What's and, your name? And give me your name if you can. Jesse. Jesse, thank you so much. Uh, whoever's with you is lucky to have Jesse's girl. Or what? Uh, yes. Okay. Drew, you killed it this round. I only got two. Well, that's closer than I did. He killed it because he's the only person who gets a female, right? Well, and I got no no kids. That's the other one. Oh, and no kids, yeah. too. All right, let us know how you did right now for Playlist Profiling. Facebook.com slash follow fit. Hey, how you doing? That's nice. It's the Fit Show. It's the Fit Show. I'm too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy for my shirt. So sexy it hurts. And I am. All right, my name is Fitz, and I wanted to throw out a little early Father's Day ego boost. Uh, apparently, attention all dudes, attention all dudes, that doughy physique that you've been sporting is actually a whole lot sexier than you think jenna my head of security let me get an opinion from you Mm -hmm. what do you think about the dad bod what would you consider a dad bod i would consider a dad bod that is like not super ripped but not overweight just kind of in between like the day-to-day life okay just does that make sense yeah kind of a kind of a normal dude just a normal dude okay are you attracted to the dad bod it depends on whose ba- dad bod. Now, what does that mean? Is that is that is that like a bank account thing? Like if somebody has a dad bod who has a lot of money in their bank no. account, is that mm-hmm. just some uh. people? Some people have different forms of dad bods, and there's particularly one that I like in particular. He's got a dad bod. Why is she bod? looking at me? <laughs> I think I, I think her description of the dad bod had nothing to do with your physique. <laughs> That's more the grampy bod. Hey! Oh! <laughs> Maybe we should start that, the gramp bod. The gramp bod, bod. I dig it. <laughs> the gramp pod, yeah. And then it's like an iPod and plays all these old people songs. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so the news survey says 69% of women think a dad bod is sexy. 63% prefer a dad bod over a guy who's in crazy good shape. And the study defined dad bod as, quote, Jenna, kind of like you said, relatively uh, relatively fit, but neither lean nor muscular. So not too chubby, but also not ripped or even toned at all. Okay, so to be honest, if a guy is super ripped, I don't want to go out with him because he makes me feel bad about myself because I can't spend three to four hours a day at a gym like he can, you mm, know? So it's mm. like, I don't want to go out with a guy who's is that, just like... Is that why it didn't work out with Captain CrossFit? Captain CrossFit was always my friend from the beginning uh-huh. and is still my friend. Oh, okay. Well, I'm on to friends. <laughs> We're still friends. Well, good. My own girlfriend, that, who's a you know fitness model, fitness model, True. personal trainer, she says a similar version of that, which is she doesn't like guys like that because they're too vain. She doesn't like guys who spend as much time in the gym as her because they're just all the you know you catch them looking at themselves in the mirror and like doing a little flex down and they're only obsessed with what they eat and how they train and they got to get to the gym. And if they spend that amount of hours at the gym, it probably means they don't have a job. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and they're probably living in their mom's basement. All right. Uh, 78% of women think a dad bod is a sign that a guy's comfortable in his, uh, you know, his own skin. 47% of women agree the dad bod is the brand new six pack. Yeah. 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 Ooh, ooh, ooh. Does it yeah. count to have a dad bod if you're 20? No. You have to actually yeah. be a dad. Tanner, you're the only 20 year old I know with a dad bod. <laughs> Well, if the dad bod's a new six pack, then I'm golden. That's right. Get to the um, beach. Um, 80% of women said they'd be proud to be married to a guy with a dad bod. Yeah. That might just be the uh, a case of making the best of what you got. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm into. That's, All right, real, that's what I like. real quick, Jenna, to go around the room, describe Tanner, Drew, and myself's bodies. Mr. Fitz, have a dad bod. Tanner has pre grandpa bod, and Mr. Drew has grandpa bod. <laughs> shaped like a fence post, so it's okay. Real. I love these guys. Funny. They make funny with their mouths. The Fit Show. Follow Fitz. It's the topic table. That's right, they're gonna do it. With Fitz. Y'all ready? Round one. (laughs) 
Welcome back to the show. What's up? We have a Facebook page, and we would love for you to get to know us and say what's up to us. Facebook.com slash follow fits. And if you're hearing us, you know, for the first time today, give us a chance. If, if you like the show, man, we, we love that. Thank you. And if you can't stand the show, please call your friends and tell them that you love the show. Right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Just pretend, would you? Just pretend. Please. That's all we're asking. Give us a couple of days. We we uh, we hope that you know we hope that you like it, and we think you're going to like it. All right, we're going to get to something now called the topic table, where we just discuss things going on in the world and have a simple debate. Uh, contribute to the conversation right now. We'd love to hear from you. So, there's a brand new woman's bathing suit that makes you look like a hairy man, basically. And the big complaint is that men can walk around topless in America without any issue, and in most places, women can't. Obviously, so there's a brand new bathing suit that women can buy that well if they want to look hairy they can look hairy jenna as the female member on the show what say you um i personally would not wear this bathing suit because i don't want to look like a hairy chubby middle-aged man so I- i'm just gonna say don't no. knock until you try it <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's actually quite rejuvenating jenna oh okay uh so you uh if you saw like a woman at a water park and who had purchased this swimsuit, right, to look like, you know, a man's hairy chest and stuff. Would you want to say anything? Honest- Would you want to mind your own business? Well, honestly, like, seeing it on another girl, I'd go high five her and be like, yeah, girl, like, that's awesome. But I would See, never- why is that, though? So secretly you're supporting it. Because I would never have the guts to do it myself because I have insecurities. But if somebody <laughs> else does it, like, bravo to you, girl. Okay. Tanner the Millennial, your thoughts on, you know, women uh, having the ability to buy this bathing suit that makes you look like a hairy man? I'm not a fan of it, man. It's just confusing at the end of the day when you alter your appearance by something you're wearing. It's deceiving. If I see someone, it actually a- lo- it actually looks like like skin color, so it kind of blends in. It really does. I, I yeah. The thing is, if I see someone in this swimsuit, I'm gonna think they're a hairy man. And then you're gonna be worried about what you feel like. Ooh, that hairy guy's got some curve. <laughs> <laughs> I like that style. But at the same time, could I wear a bikini to a pool? Like actually, that's- actually, now you probably can, and, <laughs> yeah. and nobody would probably even question it. <laughs> Plus with your moves, you know. <laughs> oh, there it goes. We should also mention that Tanner the Millennial over there, he's 20 years old. And Jenna has just put Tanner on Moob Watch 2017 because apparently Tanner's pushing the Mooby man boob limit right now. So way to go. Way to make him feel even more insecure. Yeah, thanks, you Jenna. You know what? He was going to bring up last week that you had pretty hairy armpits. Well, that's But fine. he didn't. I'm yeah. Italian and Yugoslavian, and that happens. I get a 5 o'clock shadow oh, right now. So. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Maybe they base this entire swimsuit off of you. Maybe. <laughs> I have to shave my whole body, so that's fine. Hey, Drew, your thoughts on you know women buying these uh, swimsuits that look like my hairy chest? I'm not for it. Listen, there's guys who like everything. Guys, li- There's guys who like athletic girls, guys who like skinny girls, guys yeah. who like curvy, thick girls. Sure. There's no guy out there that likes a hairy-chested girl, period. End uh-huh. of story. I don't, you know what? I still think that there's probably a place for that. I bet you if you Google no. men who like hairy chested women, there's a place there there is If you Google a men of guys who like hairy pl- chested women, the NSA will be at your door. Like okay. well, are I don't, know. Getting rid I of don't you. know. If you think it, you best believe that there's a place for it on the internet. There is a place for it on the internet. But I, do you really want to yeah. go there? No. All right. Ugh. I happen to say, hey ladies, you wear what you want to wear. <laughs> if you want to have a hairy chest, you do what you want to do. We'd love to hear uh, your thoughts right now. Go to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash follow fits. That's round one of the topic table. Oh, Fitz is playing the hits. You can take the boy out of Texas, but you can't the Texas out of the boy. Y'all turn it up. It's the Fit Show. F-I-P with a Z. It's the Fit Show. All right, welcome to the Wednesday show. How are you? Uh, thank you so much for being here, all of us on the show. We're about to pick a headline that we think you need to know today. And hey, Jenna, my head of security over there. Yeah. Pay attention because, you know, you've been accused recently of bringing a lot of stress into the studio, right? Yes, I have. Yeah. Well, you have that by you doing that, you, there's a very good possibility that we could all become very, very overweight. Oh, okay. Because stress can make you fat. Because when your life is filled with stress and anxiety, your body produces high levels of the stress hormone cortisol. And they've discovered there is a link between cortisol and excess weight. So basically what I'm saying to you, if you could just simmer down. 
You're making me fat, Jenna. You're making Tanner the Millennial a little bigger. You know, he's gaining weight over there because of the stress you're bringing into the studio. No, he has the fork to mouth syndrome. What is the fork to mouth syndrome? <laughs> he can't stop putting his fork to his mouth. Oh. <laughs> That's a fork to mouth. That's jacked up. <laughs> Actually, I think he uses more of his fingers, yeah, but anyway. Yeah, I do. That's true. <laughs> Got the greasy finger syndrome. Yeah. You said I stressed you out and made you gain weight, so whatever. I think I, I think uh, you're stressing a, him out right now. Yeah. yeah, there's a possibility this week that we've all gained a little weight with you in the room. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Drew, choose your news. Well, summer is here for most of us, and that means time at the pool. Well, in Lakewood, Ohio, a 15-year-old lifeguard just saved someone's life. But here's what's really interesting. <laughs> I was going to say, unless you're Tanner the Millennial, you've been asked not to go to the pools. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Displacing the water. I actually can't swim very well. What? You, you really can't swim that I good? really can't swim that well. No. Wow. wow. This poor boy. No, I was just saying because he's so white, you know, he's detected from outer space. <laughs> it's like, what is that white object in the pool? Well, the thing is, give me 10 minutes and I'll be redder than a lobster. <laughs> anyway, sorry, Drew, you were saying. Well, Jack Villianco, and I hope I got his name right, because Jack Villianco is a 15-year-old lifeguard, and he just saved a four-year-old boy's life. But here's the deal. It was his first day on the job. And not only that, it was oh the first gosh. 20 minutes of the first day on the job. So wow. hats off to you, Jack. You know, yeah. we need more lifeguards like you out there protecting our pools. That's what I'm saying. I love the lifeguards. Thank you, lifeguards, for everything. You know, I remember my, like, my, my neighborhood lifeguards when I was a kid. Had crushes on many of them. But, oh, of I, but you know, they're... It's just so great to see that that training, you know, pays off. Yeah, yeah. they aren't just there for a good tan. Another another little piece of trivia: uh, President Ronald Reagan, I think, had uh, uh, I think it was over a hundred and something saves as a lifeguard. I don't know if you knew that. No, I did not I know didn't. that. Yeah. All right, Tanner the Millennial, choose your news. Imagine a taco truck that could be on the go without a driver, even. It's like heaven. What? Yeah. So in Shanghai, there is <laughs> the a Uber. Mo- the Uber taco truck. <laughs> <laughs> In Shanghai, there's this mobile convenience store that's kind of run by this operating system okay. uh, built into it that drives around certain parts of the city at random parts at night. Everyone is talking about the driverless cars and that it's happening now and it's everywhere and this is the, the future, but I still haven't seen one yet. You guys have? I have, yes. Were you freaked out? Kind of, but it doesn't look normal at this point. The ones I saw had all like a radar dome and spinning okay. dishes and you know laser that, beams think, on it. I think that was a Google car taking photos, wasn't it? <laughs> well, no, it was driverless Google car. Yeah, really, for real. That is just insane. That we, so anyway, there's a driverless driving grocery store that's cruising around Shanghai. Yeah, What's exactly. going on? It just goes around random parking lots and says, well, we're going to hang out here for a while. And it's a convenience store that you self-check out and everything. Certainly they have something like that here. It's but- actually really genius for like an urban environment where a lot of people who live in, in the city might not have a car. So it's a pain in the butt to get down to the store and right. carry groceries back. Store comes to you. I just hope there's a little jingle when it's going down the street, kind of like the ice cream truck. <laughs> <laughs> to let you know it's, it's near. Play- yeah. <laughs> but it's playing like the elevator music that they play in the grocery store. Hurry up and, and grab saying, your money. Hey, everybody, get your vegetables. Get your vegetables. <laughs> All right, uh, Jenna, my head of security, choose your news. So scientists have recently rolled out this really cool study in trying to use drones for, um, what is it, the defibrillator machines. Um, they have been testing them to where the drones can actually go to a scene of an accident. Oh, my gosh, you're kidding me. No, but it shock you back to life? Yeah, but that's cool that they can drop off the drones with, and the drones can drop off the defibs within five minutes where it takes a normal ambulance like 17 to 20 minutes to get there, which is like life it's, it's life saving. Yeah, what yeah. Is that, they, it's they like call that that time that that golden time. Yeah, that golden yeah. time. And so they're actually doing tests on it now to see if it would be something that they're going to actually be able to patent and use in the future. It's like straight up care flight. Yeah. But think about it. Wouldn't it be petrifying? Like if you're lying there and you're on the verge of death, right? And you know, you you consciousness is fading, and and you're you know assuming you're about to be going to heaven, and all of a sudden you see this like drone like object. You know what I mean? Fly from out of nowhere. I mean, you don't know what the heck is that. Can I you imagine? Angels. It's coming from right, the it's gun. Coming, yeah. <laughs> she, or either that, or one of these drones looks like the Death Star. You know, that'd be petrified. You're like from Star Wars. Well, yeah, totally. But it's coming from the heavens. And right. It's I'm just saying it, could, it could send someone to panic if, as they're about to get defibula- defibrillated. I'd be lying there and I'd be like, my Amazon package wasn't supposed to come till tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. Have an awesome day. Thank you so much for listening to us. Our Facebook page is facebook.com slash follow fits. We'll see you tomorrow. My name's Fitz. I'm Drew. I'm Jenna. I'm Tanner the Millennial. Think big, because you're thinking anyway. And who's better than you? Nobody! Nobody.
Well, that's the end of today's professional broadcast of The Fit Show. Did you miss some of the show today? No worries. For all things fits and to check out today's PAB, the podcast after the broadcast, just go to followfits.com.